Thank you very much, Chairperson, and welcome, delegates. Welcome to Kerry. I'm really delighted to have the responsibility of proposing and moving motion number one on the agenda this weekend on behalf of the Central Council. Delegates, we've come a very long way over my time representing the Labour Party, from the simply stomach-churning poverty and emigration of the 1980s to the boom of the late 1990s and the last decade, and then to now, a very odd time where the good days seem to be both behind us but are also yet to come. During my time in the Labour Party, we have seen enormous wins and also some catastrophic losses. In the 1990, in, in 1987 election, the Labour Party returned only 12 members of Dáil Éireann. But in 2011, remarkably, under the leadership of Eamon Gilmore, we elected 37 women and men to Dáil Éireann. Like many in this hall, I've seen both the highs but I've also seen the lows, both for the country and, yes, for our party. And, yes, I still believe that our best days have yet to come. Conference, I want to say that it is a true honour for me to be the Labour Minister for Education and Skills. But more than that, it's an honour to serve as a member of a government that, quite frankly, is rebuilding our country from the depths to which Fianna Fáil brought it. We are fixing it. That's what we're doing here over this weekend, what we've been doing since we went into government and what we will continue to do. We are reducing unemployment, increasing growth, and working to make Ireland a more equal country. I would like to thank the Central Council for putting this motion forward, which documents the work which has been carried out over the, the last 32 months in education. And I'm very proud of our achievements in education so far. We are reducing costs for parents by providing book rental schemes, abolishing enrollment fees, and giving parents control over school uniforms. The quality education of our children, our, that our children receive is being radically overhauled through a complete replacement of the junior certificate examination and its curriculum, a renewed focus on literacy and numeracy, and ensuring that only qualified teachers are allowed to teach our children. And education is playing a central role in helping people to get back to work. This morning, I announced 70 major school building projects which will go to construction in 2014, part of the 2 billion euro we are spending on school buildings during the lifetime of this government. These These projects will directly create 3,200 jobs and 640 indirect jobs next year. Conference, I formally move motion number one. Thank you very much.